I have uh, Leo in Canada who uh, evidently converted back to being a theist because of something I said. So, wow. Uh, I don't know what I could have ever said that would actually provide evidence to support a reasonable conclusion that a God exists. So I'm, I, I don't want to make an assumption. Leo, what did I say that convinced you you needed to be a theist? Hi, guys. Well, first of all, I love your show. I listen to your show all the time especially when I go on long drives with my buddy. We put it on the car and we listen to it. We go on on our trip, two and a half, three hour drive, makes the time go by really, really quick. I love you guys. Um, well, basically, I'm on the fence. I'm not really uh, a theist or an atheist. I'm back on the fence again now. I was born, I was brought up actually Christian. Um, and... Um, Listening, listening to your show, you're a very smart guy. I, lo I, love, I love your show. You do a wonderful job explaining things. Leo, then, we're running short on time. Instead of telling me how awesome I am, um, which isn't going to do any of us any good, let's just get to what I said that convinced you to be a theist. Okay. The one thing that you said that convinced me again is well, you said even if – if um, God is real, and when I do die and I do see God in front of me, you will not worship him. Now, if that would have come from another person, like, say, a mass murderer like a Ted Bundy or, uh, or a Charles Manson, if those guys would have said that, I would have said, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. That, okay, whatever, you, that's fine. But from you become, being, um, trying to, you know, becoming a minister or after 25 years of being in that in that environment, you know the Bible inside and out. And then coming from you, I got kind of worried now when you said that. I'm like, really? Like, why? Why? So because you know the because you know the consequences of what will happen if you don't worship God. Of, of all the people, you should know it for Leo? sure. Leo, Leo, that's my whole point. Leo, kind of like that's why I'm Leo. Kind of, yes, I also know the consequences of what happens if I tell the king to go fuck himself but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't tell a king to go fuck himself. The fact that I could believe that a God exists does not mean that I believe it's worthy of worship. As a matter of fact, I think no being who would demand worship is worthy of it. That to whatever extent worship is deserved, it cannot be something that is expected. And when you, I'm specifically talking about the biblical God, who advocates for slavery, who hides, is, is winning the world's longest game of hide and go seek, who doesn't like women, who doesn't like homosexuals, who doesn't like trans people. That God is an immoral piece of shit. And if he exists, I definitely wouldn't worship him. I would believe that he existed. And I would be, instead of doing the atheist experience, I would be doing the God is a piece of shit experience, it's explaining how I believe that this God exists and how neither me nor anyone else should worship him despite the consequences. Because if what you're saying is that it's okay to threaten someone with torture and that you should worship someone who threatens you with torture, I fundamentally disagree. Okay, no, I hear, I hear your, where you're coming from, but keep in mind though, like I think I'm pretty sure, like I haven't read the Bible, but as far as I understand that the Bible was written in Greek, so it was in Greek and so on Leo? and so forth. And Leo, it's possible. Leo, I'm really short on time. And if you haven't read the Bible, stop talking about it. You, you will not do any good here by talking about something you haven't read. Okay. I haven't read the Bible. This is true. I haven't read the Bible, but no, I'm listening. I listen to your show. And so, I let me ask you, Leo, which God are you on the fence about? Which God are you thinking about worshiping? Well, the, the, the the Christian God. The, the so, so you, you, Leo, are, are were worried because I said I wouldn't worship a moral monster, and then you, who haven't read the book at all, are thinking about worshiping that moral monster when you don't. Leo, go read, go study up, make up your mind, but don't just say, "Oh, I don't know anything about this," and now I'm on the fence because I don't take you seriously when you do that. 
This was serious for me. I was a fundamentalist Christian for more than 25 years. I was studying to be a minister. I have friends who became ministers and then changed their religion. And they came to me, one of them came to me and said, I don't understand, how can you be an atheist? And I said, I don't understand how you can be a Catholic. We were raised Baptist, we knew the Bible, we knew this, we knew that. And he was like, oh, because I like beer. Oh, well, great. Then I'm an atheist because I took this shit seriously and you're a Catholic because you didn't. And I still love him, he's still a good friend of mine, but that is just the truth. And Leo, if you're thinking about becoming a theist because you haven't taken this shit seriously, I will not re never respect that. Well, I know there's plenty of other religions out there that believe in other, other gods. I understand that, but, you know, I, I was, like I said, I was brought up as a Christian and then when I listened to your show, you made perfectly sense that there is no really, there's no really evidence of a God. You cannot prove there's a God. And then that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is when someone asks you that question, like you would not worship, even if, if God was true, you would not worship. Like, that's all I'm saying to you, uh, Matt. And I don't know. That's, that doesn't explain why that puts you on the back on the fence, though. That could... I can understand why in the face of someone who's threatening you with eternal torment, why you as an individual might say, well, fuck, if that was the case, I would just, I would just lie and say, sure, I'll worship you. I'll do whatever you say. But I mean, I personally agree with Matt. I don't see why that would convince you that a God could possibly exist because Matt's saying if it existed, he wouldn't worship it. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. It's like saying, if there's a swimming pool at the end of the road, I'm not going to go swimming in it because it's full of shit. How could that possibly make you want to go swimming? Right, right. No, I understand. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. I got. I got to go, Leo. 